Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function. You can use VLOOKUP to search for a value in your data and return a corresponding value in another column. Here, I have a list of test scores. We can use VLOOKUP to find out what is the grade based on the test score. Let's begin by entering the VLOOKUP command, equal VLOOKUP and open bracket. The first parameter is lookup value. This is the value that you want to look up. In our example, the value we want to look up is test score. And this is in cell C9. So I type C9 here. The second parameter is table array. This is the reference table for VLOOKUP to use. In this reference table, the test scores are on the left column and the corresponding grades are on the right column. VLOOKUP only works if the values in the reference table are in increasing order. Select the range F9 to G13. Then lock the reference table cells by putting a dollar sign. You can also lock the cell by hitting function F4 on your keyboard. The third parameter is column index number. Here, you need to enter the position in the reference table where the return value can be found. One indicate the first column, two indicates the second column. Since we are looking for grade in the second column, we put enter two here. The fourth parameter is range lookup. This is an optional parameter to specify whether you want to perform an exact match or an approximate match. Type true if you want VLOOKUP to look for an approximate match. Type false. If you want VLOOKUP to look for an exact match. If you, do, if you don't feel this, Excel will use the lower of the two values, like the, the lower of here, in this reference table. So um, if, for example, the uh, score is uh, 55, so the lower of these two values is C. So they will use C. So for this case, we will leave it blank. We will not fill this. Now that we have entered all the VLOOKUP parameters, let's complete the command by hitting enter. You should see the grid appear here. Now, if I drag this down, the grid appears for the rest. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.